Hello there and welcome to another Bob's Bar Plays Badly and today we're playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on the Xbox One. Um, this is literally coming out today at time of recording, the 29th of October. Uh, it is about £35 on various uh, e-stores, although it's £10 less than that on Steam. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <clears throat> this is of course by Microids, famous for their, uh, well, it's published by Microids. Uh, who you'll remember for their uh, various Fort Boyard games uh, recently and years and years, years ago. It's official Sony Pictures Television Studio production. <clears throat> um, and uh, as I understand it, I might get, I might be wrong. The game comes to like a thousand international questions, and then six question banks for the further two thousand questions each. For each of six countries, so United Kingdom, United States, France, Deutschland, España, Italia. Um, and what's quite fun is that if you do play in those other countries, um, you get their you get their uh, titles, and you get their money trees, uh, which is interesting. It's quite a weird the game's quite a weird mishmash of um, the formats. It's sort of clock format, fifteen questions. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. See so we can play and shop. You can actually buy it. There's no DLC or anything like that. It's uh, as you play, you earn neutrons, and you can spend these neutrons in the shop for questions categories. So you can, if you like, play one category, uh, an entire stack on one category, if you like. Um, Harry Potter costs four and a half thousand neutrons. Uh, manga costs two thousand, and I'm never going to unlock. Um, as you can see, I've got 172 neutrons in the bank. Uh, got a little bit of a play before playing this, but let's uh, go into it, shall we? So, solo is one player mode, if you were to imagine. Uh, local multiplayer, you can uh, play all at the same time, the controls, or you can pass the pad around. So, that's quite fun, I expect. Family mode is the same thing, but easy questions. And online multiplayer is like a battle royale, and we'll have a go at that and see if there's anyone about. We've got this is a day of release. There's no guarantee of uh, a lot of people being about. Let's go to Sony. Uh, for easy, uh, easy questions and no timer. But obviously, we're going to play for normal. So we can pick our themes. Uh, we're going to play all of them because why not? Now we can pick our character. So there's a choice of about eight. So this is Pablo. This is what I'll be playing at as the person who looks most like me, I think. But your choices are uh, Chun, 47, Heng, 19, Passion Music, Nadia, 27, Hairdresser, Travel, George, 42, A Caregiver, Ancient Art, Good Braces, Julie, 22, Student, and Passion Social, Massimo, 33, C a CEO, wow, that's quite young, uh, Passion Cars. There's Lindsay, 37, researcher, cinema. Ruben, 29, consultant, fashion. Margareth, 69, retired, and loves mini golf. But I'm playing as Pablo. <coughs> so, uh, unfortunately, there's only, there's only one host. You haven't got Jeremy Clarkson, you haven't got Chris Tarrant. We do have, have a host serving mid 90s Euro News realness, um, as you'll find out. You get proper theme, proper titles, question mark and a pound note. Uh, this is going to be an endurance contest. I'm not going to skip through anything. I have to live with this, and so are you. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the show that fills up your bank account. Great. There is some. Fantastic bands. Took long enough, but I'm finally in the game. I'd almost given up. So let's get started then. Fifteen questions, four lifelines, one million pounds. Best of luck. It's time to play. Who Fantastic wants to charisma. be a millionaire? <clears throat> you know the money ladder, and it's fifteen steps to reach the million. Uh, quite poor looks there, really. I mean, if you, if you think Barnstorm, a small team, get the 
nail the look and feel of a show for an app on mobile. And flip the question. Then spending thirty-five pounds on this is not it's, it's not great, is it? Here's a new question for you. Now the question's actually not too bad. Um, they follow the, the same logic of the, the TV show that they, they start off. Uh, it's a lamb. Let's leave the clock on the top corner. If I press the button, I have to press well, it again to to me. lock it in as a final answer. You had um, a choice. Is that your final answer? So the first five questions tend to be That'll based be on sort of local answer. cultural sayings and geography choice. and that sort of thing, as they would be on television. Uh, which means that it becomes quite difficult if you play in a foreign language. And I hate that. Pound coin, pound night, pound sign before the before the um, number, please. Are you ready um, for this new question? Coming for the title of Strauss Waltz, what colours are Danube? That's only blue. I can skip this, like I said, I'm not going to. <clears throat> Let's think. Yet C, right? Okay. Um, C. Yeah, the questions are, are they're, they're, they're pretty sure. good standards, I think. Answer? I don't know who wrote them, I looked at the credits, and there's no obvious, uh, no obvious writer for them. I hope it is the right one. Um, but yeah, the first five questions tend to be based on sort of local culture. Time, so, right. they're easy if you live in the UK, not so easy that if you live elsewhere, but that's an international that question, like I said. Is still in good shape. <clears throat> this new question shouldn't give you a hard time. In theory. Complete the title of a Marilyn Monroe film. Some like it. Warm, hot, cold, or tepid. I say good options. I say in, in round one, in the first five questions. For me. Even if you don't know the answer off the top of your Is head, your the options answer? tend to make it pretty obvious. Yes. And they've kept that here. Answer. That's fine. That's good. You they've kept the uh, the old the uh, font, right which is good. They've merged it with a slightly newer graphic package, though, which is a bit weird. You got it. One more right answer. Ah, <laughs> goodness, what talent! <laughs> what talent, indeed. Your new question is ready. Good luck. Often found on beaches. What is kelp? Starfish, seashell, seaweed, sand. Uh, it's starfish or seaweed. Well, I don't know this. I'll tell you what, let's ask the audience. I can bring up this over here. Click on ask the audience like that. Okay, audience. I thought it was starfish, here. but I'm doubting myself. It might be seaweed. I'll take that. 67 cents, so clock restarts. Seaweed, See, final odds. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. You seem it. to be convinced, but is this your final answer? Oh. Yes, that's my final answer. Oh, I can't wait to see the correct answer. This is some great chat. That is correct. That just goes to show that my memory is still in good shape. All well, the audience's memory is anyway. Our team of editors offers Our you team a of new editors. Question. Imagine Chris Tarrant or Jeremy Clarkson saying that. Uh, complete with title of radio program, Desert Island Discs. Get Pretty C, easy. Right. Okay, C. I know you are waiting for me to ask you. So let's go. Is this your final answer? That'll be my final answer. Attention. The choice is made. It's time to discover the right answer. I think I heard word answer about five times in the last 30 seconds or so. The dead eyes of the animated host. In which short is Paul Radcliffe a top name? It'll be marathon running. So let's what comes up. Badminton, golf, gymnastics, athletics. Uh, we have the Ramon Cavello soundtrack for this. I would say D, obviously. Even though I think most versions sort of back to old Strachan's and music. Now to the most important question these days. of all, is this your final answer? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, that's my final answer. 
you have given your final answer. I hope it is the right one. Oh. Time, but you are right. With that, if I'm not the star of the family when I go back. It's quite an annoying old man, really. What's good is that um, because they're playing the UK country, game, when you find a friend, uh, they all got English accents. How many nouns are there in this question? That's fun. Uh, nouns is a noun. And questions a noun. Yeah, it's two. I think. It's be very embarrassing if I get it wrong, but I'm gonna go See, for it. No doubt about it. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's my final answer. The choice is made. It's time to discover the right answer. That's yes, go for that. For. That's right. See, experienced contestants always win the day. Will you be able to answer this new question as well? Which English king was particularly famed for fighting in the Crusades? William the First, Henry the First, Richard the First, Edward the First. Now it'd be Let's Richard the First from Lion Heart, I'd imagine. Well, if my Robin Hood memory see, is right. uh, okay, see. You had made good. a choice. Is that your final answer? Oh, yes. See for Crusades. That's my final answer. Oh, I can't wait to see the correct answer. Nor me. You really oh. know your answer. We know my answers. Oh, what a relief. If someone wants to count the amount of times I've answered said during this video by the computer characters. Your new question. I hope you recovered from your emotions. Um, what bungalow comes from which language? It's probably like Hindi or something, isn't it? Oh, mm, mm. It could be any of them, to be honest. Oh, uh, I mean, my gut is Hindi. You always say go with your gut, but what I'm going to do in this case is ask the phone a friend. You decide to play the lifeline, allowing you to call a friend. Hope you will call the right person. So do I. So let's call. Uh, let's call my son Theo. Good evening. You're live on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, good evening. Uh, how are you? Very good. I'm in good company, but now we need your help. Well, especially me in this instance. Listen up, Theo, because I'm really drawing a blank here. The right answer is A. Definitely. Now, when I played in practice, I was, I was given a wrong answer by my wife. So, you know... Uh, but uh, my gut was Hindi, so we'll go with Hindi. I'm gonna say A. And now to the most important question of all. Yeah, I've got in. Is this your final answer? That's my final answer. You have given your final answer. Now is the time to see the right one. Yes. yes. You are right. He's getting a large slice right of the inheritance. Ah, <laughs> oh, goodness. What talent! <laughs> Forget the wife, it's all going to the son. Now that you've released the pressure, here's a new question. Dame Judi Dench won her Best Supporting Actress Oscar from which film? Pride and Prejudice. Shakespeare in Love. Goldeneye. Casino Royale. Ooh, it's going to be... Casino Royale or Pride and Prejudice, I think. I would 50-50 it. I could flip it. I'll go to 50-50. Okay. She wasn't Let's in Shakespeare in Love or Gold, but I don't answers. think. Yeah, Casino Royale. Let's go for it. It's D, I think. Come I'm on. choosing D. Is that your final answer? That'll be my final answer. All right, let's find out the right answer together. 
Oh, she wasn't Shakespeare in love. Oh, I would have wanted. <laughs> oh wow! Didn't see that coming. Oh, I've just lost it thirty-one thousand. I just lost fifteen thousand pounds. Never mind. Um, and that translates to forty neutrons. So uh, eventually, I'll know enough neutrons to buy some new catteries if that's what I want to do. Um, so there you go. Uh, if you can put up with all the chat. Who wants to see me in there solo? It's fine, but not worth £35, frankly. Uh, somehow it's less good than the PlayStation ones about 20 years ago. It's actually the first millionaire game that's come out properly uh, since 2013, I think. Um, and the reason for that is, of course, it was axed. Anyway, uh, let's show you multiplayer. Let's play the online multiplayer. Uh, play. Now... I'm going to go international because I don't know if there's going to be enough people to, to have a game in the United Kingdom. Uh, so let's see if we can find a game. Uh, it's just like a it's just like a battle royale. Oh, we have got a game. We've got enough. It's only two. So it's his first day. It's just been released like hours ago. So I'm not expecting to find an awful lot. Uh, so the rules for this is that every question 15 seconds, you don't get a lifeline. Any lifelines. Um, the last one standing is for winner. Who's it going to be? In my play, in my practice run, I managed to come first. I'm not saying because I'm amazing, but I'm going to heavily imply it. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the show that fills up your bank account. Ready for this new question? Which of these is a musical group comprising four players? Quartet, Joe, Joe, Sextet. That would be a quartet. Also, you don't have to lock it in. You have to, have to select it, lock it in, and then say it's your final answer. One press is all you need. As you say, there's no, there's no lifelines here. That question didn't seem to pose a problem for anyone. Everyone got it right. Well done. All two people got it right. Here's a new question for you. The temperature at which a liquid becomes solid and cooled is known as freezing point. Now we wait. That question didn't tighten the noose on anyone since everyone answered correctly. Excellent. Our team of editors offers you a new question. To what kind of shop do you take a prescription? The answer is a pharmacist. Or a chemist. That question didn't seem to pose a problem for anyone. Well done. So let's move on to a whole new question. The country of Nepal is part of which continent? That is Asia. didn't tighten the noose on anyone since everyone answered correctly. Excellent! It's time to move on to a new question. What does the letter S stand for in abbreviation of VHS? Ooh, it could be system. Video home standard. Video home standard. I'm going to go standard, but I have a horrible feeling it might be system. Never really thought about it before, to be honest. It is system. So it I finished like at 500. Brought you bad luck. You've been eliminated.
That's very sad. There we go, 57,000 points. Well done, Fromage Lapin, 832. Uh, it would watch a rest, but uh, who has the time? <clears throat> 20 euros there. So, uh, that is, he wants to be a millionaire. Um, I, you know, I don't think there's anything much more to say about it, really. Um, I'll show you the other options, just, uh, just in case. Like multiplayer. You can play a cooperative. Everyone must agree about that the same answer. Everyone wins or everyone loses. Free for all. Each player has their own controller and chooses their answer secretly. Um, all players have millions of questions and points to count into the game. We're taking turns. It's probably the one if you want to stream it online. That's probably the one you'll use. Uh, each person answers a different question when it's his turn. The players on the credit are eliminated and you can play that on one controller. Uh, so there you go. Good party fun. Uh, if your idea of party fun is listening to the word answer over and over again in various different situations. Um, so like I said, it doesn't actually play that bad a game. Um, whether it's £35 worth of game and the lazy presentation doesn't help it. Um, but it's not completely awful. It's just... A little bit awful, uh, and compared to the Fort Boyard, it's, that makes it quite a lot better. So, well done, Microids. Um, join us again for another Bothers Bar Plays Badly. Goodbye.